Hey there, I'm Inspector Rayo, the Tyrian Lightbringer. I'm an engineer born and raised amongst the common folk of Kryda and trained by the Order of Whispers. I've slain Elder Dragons, a god, and continue my efforts to protect Tyria. I've been trained to keep to the shadows and keep a low profile, but my mentor Tibble has taught me it's okay to enjoy the ride. Welcome to my journey. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tyrian Lightbringer, where we'll be kicking it off with Season 2. There's been quite a lot of progress since the end of Season 1, so in this video we'll be outlining our goals, going over our progress, and our next steps for the following episode. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention that if you enjoy this series, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and dive straight into the video with our goals. Season 2 of this series revolves around Fractals of the Mists, so a majority of our goals will be centered around that one piece of content. We have thrown a couple extra pieces into the mix due to some of our overall goals for the series, which I'll outline as well. Our goals are 150 Agony Resistance, a personal level of 100, add Infinitum Legendary Back Piece, complete 99cm and 100cm with Pugs, obtain the title Leaves No Hero Behind, complete all Fractal related achievements, and complete the Omni Potion. Some extra goals onto the season are to obtain the Flame Seeker Prophecy's Legendary Shield, as well as start the Mist Attunement account augmentations. Our fractal related goals are self explanatory, they all involve fractals of the mist, so I'd like to completely finish off everything that is obtainable within reasonable time. The reason behind the flame seeker prophecies is that I have an immense amount of legendaries I need to complete on this account, and to be honest, with the raids being next season, I'm assuming a majority of my free time will be spent trying to find raid groups for clears. As fractal dailies typically take between an hour to an hour and a half, assuming all clears are fairly smooth, this will give me the time I need to farm up materials needed for future legendaries, so I really need to make the most of this season before I hit season 3. The Mist Attunement account augmenters are a seriously time gated grind. For those who are unfamiliar with the Mist Attunement augmenters, this is what is commonly referred to as Fractal God. This title has 4 tiers, which has preliminary requirements of training the 3 lesser account augmenters to tier 2 in order to unlock the ability to obtain the first title of the Fractal God title track. In total, the Fractal God title, including the preliminary requirements, takes 62 gold, 880 integrated fractal matrices, 183,000 fractal relics, 3200 pristine fractal relics, 24 fractal journals, 21 plus 11 agony infusions, and a single plus 13, plus 14, plus 15, and plus 16 agony infusion. Technically the only time gates here are the pristine fractal relics and the journal pages, but assuming you do your CMs, tier 4s, and recommendeds every single day, you can get a maximum of 19 pristine relics and 5 journal pages. But the massive amount of agony infusions, integrated matrices, and especially the fractal relics make this grind an insanely lengthy grind. And trying to grind out these more than once per day isn't much worth the effort unless you're really close to your next fractal relic goal. Moving on to progress, I've actually been moving a lot faster than I had originally expected. I have some ideas as to why, but first let's go over the accomplishments. I've managed to complete 99cm and 100cm with pugs. I've obtained the title Leaves No Hero Behind, which means I've completed 100cm without anyone in the party dying, and I pretty much have 150 agony resistance. What this means is that yes, I'm currently in tier 4s. I've been running fractals for just about 3 weeks on this account, and I was honestly able to boost out of tier 1s within the first week. Fractals are designed like this. First, you need to be level 80 to even access the LFG. Technically, you can run fractals at any level and you'll be scaled up, although I strongly advise against this. You will struggle significantly compared to someone who's level 80 with the appropriate gear for that content. Second, your personal level affects two things. The karma you gain at the end of each fractal, but most importantly, it prevents you from opening fractal scales higher than your personal level. Lastly, you're able to join any level fractal up to the highest personal level of your party. Meaning, if I'm level 1 and you are level 100, we'd be able to do fractal level 100. This would make it so that the only thing preventing me from being able to participate in higher levels is my agony resistance, which on day 1, I already had enough for some tier 2 fractals. Now to explain how I had enough agony resistance. In my previous episode, I went over how Super Adventure Box was around which allowed me to get my unique plus 9 infusion from the holiday event, and I also went over how I had been almost fully geared out in Ascended Gear. 
I also received a plus 9 infusion as a congratulations from one of my guild officers, Tonalilt, after we ran my first set of fractals on the account. Which, side note, if you would like to join Mistlocked FOTM, a fractal training guild, the discord link is in the video description. In my original 150 agony resistance series I did a few years ago, I started completely from full exotics at level 80, so I had to grind out all of my ascended gear and I limited myself to crafting it as well as guild missions plus laurel vendors for my accessories, my amulet, and my rings or from fractals. This made the entire grind to 150 Agony Resistance take much longer than it would current day in Guild Wars 2. We've been given access to a plentiful amount of ascended stat selectable trinkets, back pieces, weapon collections, and even armor boxes from expansion content, living world season content, and even strike missions. All of these bits of content make ascended gearing easier than it has been in the past. In this series, since Season 1 focused on story missions, I decided to knock out some of my Ascended crafting during that time by gaining my Ascended trinkets through Living World Season 3, as well as crafting all of my weapons. This gave me a huge head start in Fractals this time around. One of my limits from my previous series is that I didn't always have the Ascended gear to slot my Agony resistance into, but now whenever I have a plus 7 Agony infusion or higher, which is basically a single day's worth of Fractals, I was able to slot it into my gear which allowed me to do 3-4 to four levels higher in Fractals. Lastly, the Anguish Tier of Alba Potion stacks with my Agony Resistance. After obtaining Tier 1 of the Fractal Attunement Mastery, which you basically obtain for free once you unlock Masteries, the potion will give a total of plus 15 Agony Resistance up from its base of 10, which also stacks with your current Agony Resistance rating. This gave me a grand total of 33 Agony Resistance on Day 1, which technically allowed me to do up to Fractal Level 34, which is 9 levels into Tier 2. I started off Fractals on this account with only missing 3 pieces of Ascended gear, which were my leggings, gloves, and shoulder pieces, which I have since obtained. The day following my previous episode, I crafted my Ascended leggings while also buying a shoulder box from the Strike Mission vendor. Then just a few days after that, I used some accumulated gold from Fractal dailies towards crafting my gloves and I was fully kitted out in Ascended gear. At the point in my last video, I was getting ready to start run tier 3s, which I actually did the same exact day of crafting my ascended leggings, which was the following day from recording that episode. At this point, I was still needing to obtain a ton of agony resistance, which is why I wasn't just boosting straight into tier 4s. Did I have enough money to invest in agony resistance? Yes. But as I was already moving really fast, I didn't want to just jump into tier 4s within my first week. Besides, I have legendaries to go for in this season, so I need to spread my wealth accordingly. Not only that, but my personal level was a limiting factor. Although I could technically run tier 2s on day 1, I didn't actually jump into tier 2s until my 5th or 6th day of running fractals. The reason being is my personal level was not high enough. So now, here we are. I'm currently sitting at about 3500 normal fractal relics, which is almost enough relics for my very first infinite fractal potion. I've already started to work on the tier 1 collection of Ad Infinitum, I have about 3 journals worth of pages so I need to get enough for one more journal and I'll have all of the time gated items from each collection knocked out of the way. I still need to do all the challenges involved in each collection but those I'm not too fussed about at the moment. If I can collect all the required journal pages then I'll be able to breeze through all 4 collections at any time that I desire. I've also already bought the first tier of the Fractal Capacitor back piece, to which I now need to upgrade to Ascended Quality and eventually Infuse. This will be quite a cost that I'm not too fussed about getting done right now, as that will cost a total of 500 Ectoplasm and another 1k normal Fractal Relics. I'll just be farming these up myself. I've capped out on Ectoplasm a few times already through meta maps and Octavine runs, so like I said, I'm not too fussed to rush this out. Going into episode 2, I plan to have at least one infinite fractal potion as I'm nearly there already, as well as have the tier 1 collection for both Ad Infinitum and the Flame Seeker Prophecies completed. Aside from that, I'll just be focusing on running my daily CMs, tier 4s, and recommendeds to get as much gold as possible, as well as chances for ascended gear and earning those fractal currencies to put towards my goals. And that wraps up this episode. Since season 1 took so long to get through, I was really itching to get into fractals as soon as I possibly could, and when I did, the progress just started taking off. I'm really looking forward to the next bits of this series, to which you can keep up with live on my Twitch. Follow me over on Twitch to hang out while I make progress on the alt account. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and the times can be found on my Twitch channel. You can also follow me on social media, links to everything can be found in the video description. I am also an ArenaNet partner, so if you'd like to start playing Guild Wars 2 for free or would like to expand your journey, you can use the link sponsored by ArenaNet in my description to play for free, or to purchase the expansions. All uses of these links will greatly benefit this channel. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm Inspector Rayo, and I'll see you next time. Take care.